advanced chart editing and new charts in just the report server. These two new features allow you to change easily chart properties in ad hoc via the UI as per the high charts API. We also have two new chart types. One is called SemiPy for KPI style charts and TreeMap for visualizing hierarchical data. So let's have a look at one of our sample views. This one is called Sales Mix by Gender. And we're going to edit some of the chart properties to change the, um, the look and feel of the chart. So you can go here to Chart Format, Advanced. And as you can see, there are also already some properties defined. So as a first example, I'm just going to show, I'm just going to change the color of um, one of the color of, of the charts. So we change this uh, red to uh, one of the HTML colors called uh, Lime. Click on the checkbox to save and then click OK. And as you can see, it was uh, correctly changed. Um, now we can change another one. Um, but before doing that, um, as you can see at the bottom of the window here, there is a, a link named More Information. And this brings us to a, a wiki page in our community website that has a list of um, many of the properties that you can change, as you can see here. But I want to show you that uh, if you look at the high charts API documentation directly, there are also additional properties that are not, not necessarily documented here, but they, they might, so, some might work and some might not work. So let me show you um, the documentation from high charts. So in this case, if we go to chart and reset zoom button, there's a property here called uh, relative to. And uh, it's basically um, where the button should be placed, you know, related to the, the plot as it's the default or to the chart the uh, itself. So let's try to change this property. So we go back to our chart here and I have it here already and it's, the, it's commented out at the moment. So the default is plot, so I'm going to change it to chart remove the slashes so now it's not commented anymore and I can go and as you can see actually you can't see at the moment so let me cancel and zoom first so you can see as you can see there's a reset zoom button here on the top right and then go back to the advanced properties and remove the comment here Click on the check sign and click OK. And then I zoom again. And as you can see, now the reset zoom button is not anymore within the plot, but it's relative to the chart. The position is relative to the chart. So that's, again, it's not, it's one of the examples where it's not documented in our wiki page, but it's still working. Um, so not all the properties there in the high charts API work, but um, you can try and see uh, if uh, something that you need might be working in this, in this context. Um, the next thing I want to show you, uh, so we go back to the repository. It's a dashboard uh, that contains one of the new uh, chart types. So it's um, product category KPIs dashboard. And there's a chart here called CT3. And this is an example of a new tree map that is available. Um, and this is how it works. You can, you can click in, in one section and it drills down show you the details for each uh, group. 
Um, so let's create a new one now just to show the, the whole process. I'm going to show you a full mark, a full mark sample database with a topic. And we kind of replicate what we saw in the dashboard. So we're going to add customer city, product subcategory, and store sales. Then we change it to a chart. And then we add a filter for state and a filter for category. and then we change the type to parent tree map as you can see in the in the uh, lower lower section uh, we have range and we have a number of chart types here and we have tree map and parent tree map the as you can see from the little screenshot there the parent tree map is is the same as the normal tree map but it allows you a kind of deeper nesting inside the hierarchy. And so this is the total. Now we we increase the data level. And there you go. That's basically what you saw in the in the dashboard. Um, so let's um, let's change um, one of the properties here as well, um, just to give an example. So, um, so let's go back to the PyCharts API documentation. So here, um, if you scroll down, actually in the in our wiki page, there are some plot options properties, and th these are uh, normally related to specific chart types. For example, this is ga gauge, this is pi, and this is generally on the data series but if you if we go to the high charts api we we can find more for example plot options and then we go to tree map which is what we are working on now and then there is a property called layout starting direction and the the default value is vertical so it's the way the layout works in the in the tree maps so it starts from the top and moves vertically whereas we want to try and change it to horizontal <coughs> advanced we have the new property it's going to be plot options dot and that's the property name and then double quotes horizontal save and you will see a, a change in the layout now let's try To um, it doesn't look like it changed. So let's see. Vertical. Actually, we can just apply it to see if there's any changes. So yeah. So in this case, Ladner is. So uh, Richmond, for example, is under Ladner. So it's move ver vertically but if we change it to horizontal in this case it's moving from left to right so yeah it, uh, it is it is working okay so now let's change this to um a semi pi to see how that works in this case it's not very useful to display this way but we can move customer CD up here in the columns 
and then increase the data level and we'll have multiple same APIs for uh, each city. Um, in this case we're going to also change one parameter, one property um, and obviously this trima property here at, at the moment doesn't apply because we're using different chart type but you can still leave it there. It's going to be plot options dot pi dot inner size and we set it to 50 percent and this is actually documented in our wiki page so if you scroll down here you can see plot options dot pi dot inner size and there is an example here of what it looks like so let's let's see if it works apply and it, and it works. Thanks.